Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am back today with the follow-up video from yesterday and we are going to continue with all of the details for the Hannah Carlson color along that we are getting ready to start. This color along will take place between my Facebook group and also this YouTube channel. So if you're not already in my Facebook group, please go to the description below, find the link for my uh, Facebook group and go ahead and put in a request to join so that you can follow along with us with this color along. I will be doing tutorials the whole way through using this YouTube channel so make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and not only just subscribed but also please turn on your bell notifications so that way you always get notified every time I post a new video. Also, if you enjoy videos like this and you want to con continue to have content like this recommended to you by YouTube, make sure that you do give this video a thumbs up because it not only helps with that, but it also helps my channel out a whole lot, and I really appreciate it so much. So let's go ahead and get into this video. So I know that I have a lot of you that are new here. There are also a lot of you that have done my previous color alongs. If you go back in my channel, you'll be able to see all the previous color alongs that we did, and they are always so much fun. We just do them together as a group, and at the end of the color along, I go and make a compilation of all of the beautiful coloring pages that everybody in my Facebook group created, and I will put all of those up on my YouTube channel for display for everyone to see and enjoy. So my color alongs are always, or have been always, and it has been requested again that it is a limited color palette. It is not too limited because all of the color palettes chosen have six in the palette and we always end up choosing three pencils for each one of those um, each one of the swatches so we will end up with 18 pencils this time that's what we had last time and I know for me I had 18 pencils and I didn't even use them all so I know that a couple people were saying that they didn't feel like they had enough pencils but then when I came around and asked and we did more voting and everything, everybody said that 18 pencils was fine. So we are doing that again this time. Everything has been voted on in my Facebook group from the artist that we've chosen, which is, of course, Hannah Carlson. And we have gone over color palettes, and all of the color palettes were voted on. I came up with a bunch of... Um, color palettes that would fall under the mystical theme because mystical is the theme that was voted upon. Everybody decided that they also wanted to add a theme in this time, which was very cool, hence my video that I put out yesterday talking about mystical, what I felt like mystical meant, and how different people can perceive the word mystical in so many different ways. So... I went over in that video, if you have not seen that video, I will go ahead and link that up in the top right hand corner. Always check the cards in my video and the description below because there's always lots of information in both of those places for you in every video that I create. So yesterday we just went through all of these four books that I have and I pretty much tabbed all the pages and I showed you the pages that I thought would fall under the mystical theme. So if you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you go back and you watch that if you still want to choose your page. Today I'm going to reveal the page that I chose because the page that I choose is the one that is going to be used in all of the tutorials that will happen on my channel. Now I know that some of you will not have the picture that I have chosen because you may not have the book that I chose it from which is fine. So usually in all of my previous um, color alongs, I've always made sure that there is a freebie available so that everybody is able to participate. But unfortunately this time I've not yet been able to find a freebie. So if you know of one that Hannah Carlson has actually released herself as the artist and not something that is just, you know, that you pulled up when you did a Google search, that we are not sure if it is copyrighted material or whatever or if it is allowed to be used, please let me know in the comments so that I can announce that to everyone and post it in my Facebook group and let everyone know that there is a freebie available. But as of right now, I've not been able to find one. 
but she does have an Etsy store and a lot of people have suggested in my Facebook group that you could go to her Etsy store and find a page to be able to um, to color for a reasonable price. Of course, that would mean that you have to have a printer and be able to print your uh, page out. Now, all of her coloring books, I will link down in the description so that you can find them on Amazon, but they are all pretty much reasonably priced. Um, I'm looking at Amazon right now, and it looks like Daydreams. This one here is sitting right at $11.49, and then there is Magical Dawn. Uh, where's Magical Dawn? Magical Dawn is this book right here. This one is um, $13.19. And then there is Seasons, which I don't have. That one's about $11.99 right now, as is Jewelry Box. And there is also Spirit Animals. I don't know if that one is... I don't know. It doesn't look like that one is available on Prime right now, and it looks like it may be available maybe by a third-party seller, but it says $21.50 on it. So that is one that I don't have, and there's also her new one called Midnight Masquerade, and that one I really, really want, but for some reason, if you're in the States, the shipping has been delayed, and on Amazon it says one to two months. I have been told that that book can be ordered directly from the publisher, and I'm going to try to do that myself. I just not made that phone call yet. If you would like that information, please let me know. So those are the books that are available. She has, I believe, six of them. But these are the ones I have. And the picture that I chose is from Magical Dawn. Now, I will say that Magical Dawn is my absolute favorite Hannah Carlson book and the only one page that I have completed and most all of the work that I have done on any Hannah Carlson page has always been in this book. It, I just, I love this book. I don't know. And the other ones I've bought, but I've not really colored anything in any of them except Daydreams. So my page is coming from this one. I actually went into my Facebook group and I posted all of them, all of the pictures that I was you know, trying to decide upon. And it's so funny because I said everybody vote by just clicking like. And it's so funny because the one that I really wanted to color is the one that I believe got the most votes. But this is the page that I am going to work on for this color along. And the reason I chose this page is not just because it is definitely mystical. I have not done... Um, gems or crystals, whatever you would want to call these. I've not done those yet. Um, I have not done any type of bottles yet. So I've got some really great ideas for these bottles to be able to do in a tutorial. And I love the little stars in the background. I could do a little tutorial when I do the background of how I'm going to do those stars. And I've not decided yet what I'm going to do with all the wavy potion whatever it is that's coming out of this bottle I've not decided what I'm gonna do with that yet but I'm sure it will end up being beautiful no matter what I decide and this is the page I'm gonna do so again it's in magical dawn if you guys want to follow along and color with me and you want to do this color along along with the tutorials that will be on my channel then if you have this book then you will be able to do this page. If you don't have this book, I'll have the link down in the description. You can go ahead and order yourself a copy. The other option is just to use the books that you have readily available to you that you already probably have in your bookshelf and just choose your own page that would fall under the mystical theme. Of course, the color palettes as well will all fall under the mystical theme or what I perceive to be mystical and I chose when I tr when I went through and I chose all of the color palettes and all of the selections for the color palettes I wanted to make sure that they had kind of bright happy colors in it because I don't know about you all but right now I just need some bright happy colors in my life when I'm coloring I don't want to look at a page that is very dull and has some dark dreary colors on it and I don't know some people can perceive the word mystical as just kind of dark 
and I just, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so I gave everybody choices and it seems that everybody is kind of in the same mindset as me because the bright happy palettes are the ones that got chosen. So I will right now have the color palettes up on the screen for you to see. And I will also, after this video is edited and has been uploaded today, I will post the color palettes to the Facebook group. Both color palettes that were chosen were voted on and had the highest amount of votes. One of them, as you can see if you're looking at the screen, it has a lot of bright, beautiful colors in it. That is the one that I will be using. And the other one has some darker purples, blues, and teal and green, which that can end up being really beautiful when you choose your pencils. But I want something with a little bit of variety. So the one that I'm going to guide you all through to choose your pencils, as you know, and as I do in every color long, I always make a video where I show you the choosing of all of my pencils and all of my colors. Of course, I'll be using Prismacolors as always because most of you know my Facebook group is all about Prismacolor combinations. So I will be using Prismacolors as we always do in all my previous color longs. And I will make that video next showing you the pencils that I chose to go along with the palette that you're looking at on the screen right now. So I hope you all love those color palettes that were chosen. I know a lot of you have not been in my Facebook group yet to be able to choose and join in on all of the voting. But I hope you're still there so that you can join us and be able to participate in all of the voting and everything of the next color along because we do continuously have these color alongs but I hope you do participate in this one I know that a lot of you that have found my video yesterday have all decided to participate because I have had a lot of people putting in requests to join my Facebook group I think today I just added another 50 of you or so and I was really surprised when I logged in there and saw all the requests now the one thing that I do ask is if you are going to put in a request to join my Facebook group, I would like to know who you are, how you found my group, if you came from one of my YouTube um, videos that you saw, or just, you know, and why you would like to come into the group and why you would like to participate, or if you found me through the Color Along videos. I like the questions, I ask those questions for a reason and I like to have them answered. So if you put in a request, to join the group and you don't take the time out which may take you an extra one and a half minutes or maybe two minutes to type a few things out and answer the questions and agree to the rules if you don't do that or I have requests that come in that I don't see any of the questions filled out I deny those requests and I feel bad doing that and hate to do that but I just feel like I want a very interactive group and I like people in my group that are going to participate in all of the things that we do and really enjoy the group and get as much from the group as they possibly can. So I feel like if somebody can't take the extra two minutes out to fill out some questions to join the group then they're not going to participate in the group anyway. So that's my thoughts on that. But I think that it just it makes it makes it a positive experience for everybody because I just I don't know I like a lot of group participation and that is the reason why I made the group to begin with and it's a wonderful group and if you join it you will be part of a wonderful community on Facebook but I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope you really like the color palettes that have chosen that have been chosen you can choose from either one that you want no matter what page you're doing whichever one you look at and be you know that's inspiring to you and you decide that's the one that you want to use it's fine I think that I have gone over absolutely everything that I need to go over if you have any questions please post your questions in the comments or ask in my Facebook group and I'm always pretty quick about answering if I'm not somebody who has really participated and been involved in my group for a while they're usually pretty good about jumping in in my absence when I'm not there and answering any questions that you may have so please make sure that you ask questions if you have any before we start my next video to come out will be the video where I show you all the pencils of my choosing that go with the color palette that I chose so I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you will all participate with us in this color along 
and please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and also have your bell notifications turned on so that you get notified every time that I post a video. If you liked this video and you want to con continue seeing my content and other content like this, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and I hope you all have a great day. Happy coloring. Bye.